Welcome back, everybody. It's time to make it local. And their motto is tame the beard, not the man. They've got soaps, oils, aftershaves, all handcrafted in Door County. The owner is Amanda Brooker, and she is here to show us some of her great products. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Yes. Well, we're great. And I just asked you in the commercial break, can I use this too? Is that okay? <laughs> yes. Oh, okay. totally okay. Not and just for men. Not just for men. Okay. Actually, I initially started the company be because there were not soap makers who made soaps in the sense that I liked. Oh. And it morphed into a men's grooming business. But um, a lot of my customers are women who don't like floral or fruity scents. So they're a little more earthy, spicy, uh, woodsy. And uh, that's where where I I kind of fall. So so it's called Long Rifle Soap Company. Where did you come up with that name? Uh, I met my husband in Washington D.C. He's a Green Bay native. Uh, we're both history geeks. Our dates were old graveyards and battlefields oh. and, <laughs> and stuff like that. And I'm originally from the East Coast and uh, grew up a lot with the early early American history. Mm -hmm. um, and we wanted a brand that could transcend into the male. Uh, mm -hmm. category, uh, which was really underserved five years ago. Mm -hmm. And uh, my husband came up with the name. I knew right away what the, what the branding was going to be, and I knew who was going to do my branding. That's so cool. Very yeah. neat. Talk us uh, through some of your most popular products. Okay, great. Well, initially I started with the soaps, and if you want to yeah. take a scent, uh, yeah. that one's Roanoke. That's rosemary, bergamot, oh. and lavender. And um, all our soaps are uh, shrink-wrapped and biodegradable shrink-wrap. Nice. Uh, we look to try to be as environmentally, as, as environmentally responsible as we can be. Um, we then morphed into the beard category with the beard oils and the beard balms. Um, that, that was uh, product tested actually on Navy SEALs. Oh, wow. Uh, a couple boys I used to coach at Bayport High School. <laughs> and, uh, and, then, uh, and then went into uh, mustache waxes and then the shaving product. It has really been the big category for us, and it's all natural. If you ever looked at the back of a can of shaving cream, it's a lot of chemicals, and your skin is your largest organ. Yeah. And um, the, this is actually my husband's shaving brush. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so it's used, in other words. So it, yeah, it's the real deal. And you can just like take your finger, rub it together, and Ooh, that um, good. Oh and yeah, you it's can got feel a the whole slip. different consistency. Right. right, so I do shave my legs with it. So if women are looking for an all-natural yeah. alternative, um, the pucks are really nice um, because they can just rub them between their hands. But there's something to be said about shaving with a shaving brush. It's kind of like a spa experience, mm -hmm. yeah. which is really, really nice. Well, if you are looking to find long rifle soaps, there's a lot of options. I've seen you in a lot of local <laughs> retailers, but you're also on Etsy. I'm on Etsy. I have an uh, online business on uh, my own website, which is uh, longriflesoap.com. Um, I do wholesale. I actually was, mm -hmm. I, I've been trying to get my website updated. Um, I'm in 25 states. Wow. In over 80 stores in, and also in Canada and Australia. She's international. I Congratulations international. to you. Yeah, thank you very All much. All right. Well, it's thanks exciting. for joining us today. Thank you. All right, Amanda.